Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. Thanks to Dan for this request for working with dynamic link workflows with more than one comp in Adobe After Effects. If you don't know the benefits of dynamic link, it's really cool. Um, a lot of people will uh, love the fact that you don't have to render anything out. So we're gonna have three different comps in After Effects being updated inside Premiere Pro. The question that Dan had is, what is the preferred workflow when you have more than one comp? So it's really easy if you've got an animated graphic, you've got one After Effects project and in there is one comp and you drop it in the timeline. But what happens if you don't want to have, if you got 10 titles, you want you don't want to have 10 projects. You want to have one After Effects project with 10 comps. You can do that. Now, currently, I am looking at something that very well could be a bug in this version, which would be fixed. But let me show you um, how I bring things in and, and how I prefer. But I'll show you all the different ways to do it. Let's go have a look. All right, so here we've got some footage and I wanna bring in some motion graphics. I don't have anything in right, right here right now. I, I have to go to After Effects. So rather, for me, rather than going to the File Menu Dynamic Link and creating the After Effects comp here, I'm gonna actually go to After Effects and work in here to create these graphics. So I've got three comps, um, speed, power, timing. Each one is its own different comp with its own different animation. And these are just the standard text animations uh, inside After Effects. If you're not familiar with those, go to the Effects and Presets, Animation Presets, and there's a whole whack of, of different presets uh, to use. So that's where I got uh, these. And here's the, the, the way that I prefer to do this, is I'll select the comp here and hold my mouse down. And I'm hitting Alt-Tab, or it's Command-Tab on, uh, on the Mac, hold that down and I'll jump to Premiere Pro and I'll drag to the project bin. It shows up and over here on the right hand side, if you don't want the After Effects audio to, to come in, make sure that you've got A1 turned off. Drag that in, drop it there, and we've got our first animation. There it is. Speed, it shows up. Now for the other ones, you could do the same thing. You could drag those in, select those, hold it, and tab over, drag them in, drop them in, there they are, that's it. Each one's its own separate animation. Each one is connected to the original uh, project in After Effects. That's my preferred method. It goes behind the back of dynamic, or, or uh, behind the back of media browser, behind the back of the file menu import. I just like that, and I'm I'm an Alt Tab Windows guy. On the when I was on the Mac, I'm a Command Tab uh, guy. But uh, if you're not, then you can choose another way to do it. Let me show you the thing right now that isn't working. So it, let's go back to Premiere Pro, get rid of these, and go to the media browser. And there is my motorcycle After Effects project. And I've got three comps showing up. If I double click on the first one, it will show us speed. Now, it should be showing us power. It's not, it should be showing us timing. And if I drag this in to here, it's gonna show timing. So I dragged right from there into the uh, the timeline. Double clicking and previewing these um, does not seem to give me that preview. I can go over to the left, let me get rid of that one that I have. I can go to the left and right click on the motorcycle project and import that project and it's going to show me all the different comps inside. I can only select one and bring it in and there it is and it is the speed one. So that's a one at a time kind of thing, which is a bit of a pain in the, in the uh, butt, but I could select all three of these on the right and import those. Also notice in this little flyout menu in the media browser, there is a refresh command. Um, 
you shouldn't have to use this because dynamic link is actually a third application that's running in the background that you don't see. When you make any change in After Effects, it instantly updates inside Premiere Pro because dynamic link is what's known as a headless version of After Effects. It's a full version of After Effects without a user interface hiding in the background and it feeds frames to Premiere Pro. Uh, because Premiere Pro doesn't know what this motion blur animated thing is. It's, it's dynamic links sending it in the background. So that's how I can quit After Effects and I can still see all those animations. But the refresh command is there if, if you need to kind of wiggle the handle and kick things and, and, and make it work. The only other time that, that this may be a problem, and I don't even... I'm scared to work over After Effects comps and dynamic link through a network. Uh, but you might have to refresh this if it's in a network because when you think about it, we have three desktop applications running locally here, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Dynamic Link, or just Premiere Pro and Dynamic Link. They're running on this machine. If the assets are somewhere else and you don't see them and it's not refreshing, that might be a network problem. I'm just throwing that out there. So that's several different ways to, to bring things in. I want to show you also that you can go to the file menu and choose import. And there's my motorcycle comp right there and I'll click open. And here, again, this gives me the option of bringing in one of these in at a time. I can also go to the file menu, dynamic link, import After Effects composition. And for this one, we're back at motorcycle, but notice I can hold the shift key down and I can select all three of these. Or if there was 50 of them, I could shift select all of them and bring them in at the same time. And just like before, we can drop these on and our animation is done. So file import After Effects comp does allow us to bring all three of these at the same time. But like I said, my preferred method, back into After Effects, select them, tab over, drag them in, much, much easier. If I go back into After Effects and create a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, then I'll bring those in. That's just my preferred method because I don't know, I, sometimes I just don't trust what's going on in the background and I don't care about using Media Browser for this. Media Browser for me is more about previewing a whole bunch of different content before I bring that in, auditioning things, listening to sounds. Um, here, I know what I'm doing After Effects. I know I want it in Premiere Pro. Forget everything else, just jam the darn thing right inside. Okay, so Dan, hopefully that uh, uh, answers your questions. On, on how to work with multiple comps inside um, Premiere Pro and Dynamic Link and After Effects. All right. Well, uh, thanks, and hopefully if everyone else has found this informative. If you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. And to all those who are already supporting us, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. The dialogue is happening. It's great. You're making me feel good. Um, and I'm creating many uh, new tutorials. The only thing I ask, if you really value this, especially if you've got a team of people that you point to Video Reveal constantly for training, I love that. I appreciate it. But think about supporting us over on Patreon. Uh, even something as simple as one freaking little dollar a month would mean a lot to me and it would get my wife, the CFO, off my back. All right. Thanks a lot. I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.